gallery's mission is to really introduce young contemporary artists as well as to feature works by established 20th century masters. As some of you may know, Gerd Ludwig is a very successful award-winning photojournalist. And some might say, well, hey, photographing a sleeping car in an alley with a cover over it, I can do that photograph. But it's, it's not about that so much as it's someone who's a professional having the idea and dedicating his time over a period of four or five, six years, maintaining consistency in his style and vision, and creating a body of work that really represents his idea. And his idea as shown in this work is very different than the kind of picture he would make as a photojournalist. My first assignment for National Geographic magazine took me back to my native Germany in the early 90s. And at this point, I've shot and published more than 20 stories for the magazine. I'm mostly known for my work in the former Soviet Union and for environmental subjects. And the two strands come together in my work in Chernobyl. I was stuck in LA traffic when a visiting writer remarked, I wonder why all these cars go to rest at night. I started to think about that idea. Where do they all rest? I drove around at night and I looked at cars that commanded their own space. I loved the loners. I loved those that were wearing their covers like nightgowns. Others were skimpily dressed. Some took afternoon naps and a few lucky ones got to sleep together. I photograph all the cars as I found them. Sometimes an owner would come out in the middle of the night. They offered to take off the covers or post them somewhere else. But I rather not disturb my subjects in their slumber. I really enjoy printing myself but being busy with assignments and having to print a large show within a short period of time, I really rely upon a master to print my work. I knew that working with Gerd was gonna be challenging because after all, he is German and uh, really wants the highest quality that he can get. And we were hampered by a limited amount of time to get the job printed. Luckily, I had been working with a new machine from Epson, which is the P20,000, which meant I could have increased speed without compromising the quality. Good shadow detail, along with a very large color gamut, was absolutely crucial for this job, and the P20,000 really delivered. I had originally printed one of the prints with a different technology, but when I saw the results of the P20,000, I was blown away. The images were so sharp, I couldn't believe it. I remember he called me to comment on the test prints that I sent him, and he wanted to know how I'd sharpened them. And I actually hadn't done any sharpening. When I saw the first test print, I realized that in the back was a fence that I hadn't even seen. It showed up clearly as a fence, whereas before, it was all soft and not existent. I needed to have a paper that really was showing the deep blacks and all the details, and the legacy Blatine really served that purpose. Well, it's very important to know that a paper and the printer and the ink all work together as a system. And the legacy Platine allowed us to reproduce the blacks and the shadow detail, and the color gamut, and it had a surface that visually it kind of enhances that whole sensibility of the deep blacks and the bright saturated colors. I was initially drawn to the new technology because I learned that the combination of printer, ink, and paper would increase the longevity of the prints. This is a very important feature for anybody who sells images on the fine art market. This new Epson ink set, in combination with the legacy papers, has a permanence rating over 200 years under UV glass. 
And the black and white, I believe, is up to about 400 years. These numbers, for me as a photographer, are incredibly important. Not only does it increase the value of an original print, but it also makes me much more comfortable. As a photographer, as an artist, the print is going to be my legacy. This new Epson technology not only provides increased productivity for me as a printer, without sacrificing quality, but also gives my clients the confidence to know that their prints are gonna last.